I was I was five minutes late. Uh, five minutes? Five seconds. I was five seconds late to start the countdown time. I'm really sorry. I was. It's, it's only five seconds. I hope you don't mind. I'm really sorry. Yes, you have a spanner, Andy. You have a spanner. You big spanner. I mean, if I just gave everyone spanner, because there's a lot of spanners in. Too many spanners. Let's just give everyone a spanner, and then you're all the same. So then the people without spanners, it's like high vises nowadays, isn't it? Ever. Everyone wears a high vis now. Everyone bus drivers high vis. Flipping, everyone's wearing high vises, so everyone's highly visible, which means no one's highly visible. It's stupid. Anyway, evening, everyone. Hope you're good. A couple of minutes, we'll get this party started. Two hours. Two hours. Good day, Stuart. Hope you're doing right, mate. I'm just going to the toilet. Is that the music done? Oh, I didn't plan that very well, did I? I was meant to run until the flipping end of the timer. Ah, right, here we go. Perfect as always. Anyway, good evening everyone. Let's go. This show contain nicotine. Nicotine is addictive substance. If you watch Flat Cap Fridays, does that mean you use nicotine?
I really do not know. But this show contains nicotine, so be careful. Nicotine is for adults 18 years old or over. Flat Cap Fridays is not responsible for your nicotine addiction. Now it's time for the show to start. Once I have done a wee wee. You've been told. <laughs> is that racist? I don't know if it's racist. I don't think it is, but I think it's borderline. Anyway, good evening, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I was going to start the show like this and go like, hello, everyone. <laughs> hope you're doing good. Uh, yeah. But anyway, it's really lovely to be back. Um, hope you're doing really well. I hope everything's been going well. January is a crap month across the board. It's definitely been a crap month for me, but never, never, the, never, the, never nonetheless, nevertheless, whatever it may be, I'm really pleased to be back. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, this is the proper reboot. The proper reboot. We've got some new categories. We've got some new things. We've got loads of things to talk about. Is that a modular in the background, guys? Um, uh, the OG, the original Lizzie. Um, we've got loads to do. It's going to be really fun. I hope you can stick around. Yes, we're going to try and try. We're going to try and do two hours. I don't know if we're going to reach two hours, but we're going to try. That's the that's the target. And now with this re 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 reboot, uh, yes, Josh, we're going to um, find new categories. I really am going to try this time. I actually remember um, when we first started doing the Flat Cat Fridays. I was like, I'm going to see how the show evolves, and it didn't really evolve. We just did the same stuff. No. I'm going to be pushing forward this time for new ideas. I've had some great suggestions from people. Andy Wilkinson's name just popped up there. He's one of them. Um, what new reboots? Now, I've actually got the crummiest trainers on you've ever seen. They've got paint on them. Look. Look. <laughs> Look at them. Yeah. They're like my slippers, basically. They're my old pair of trainers that have become my slippers. <laughs> so, yes. No ex expensive knockoffs on this show. Oh, wow, handbags. Maybe talk about that. Talk about that a bit later. Right. Let's start the show. I hate calling it a show. Let's start the stream. Let's start the stream in the usual fashion. There are things from the OG Flat Cat Friday show that remain. Thankfully, there are some things that are gone. Um, but like I say, lots of new categories. Uh, so we'll just start with this, you know, the OG, the original, the, how we used to do things, how we were going to continue to do things, because it's just the best ever. It's time for the Faxi Saves. So the first thing we do on Flat Cup Fridays is safety everybody in chat. Safe everybody, have a wonderful show. <laughs> Do the FCV save. 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 I couldn't get rid of the FCV safe, could I? That would have been atrocious. You would have left. Oh, the, the, what have we got at the minute? 37 viewers. That would have gone down to maybe seven. <laughs> Shrek would have definitely unsubscribed because his little video of him dancing with me there anymore. So yes, that is staying. Hi, Sean. Hi, everyone. Right, we're going to do safes. I'm going to... I feel really rusty. Can you all hear me okay? Oh, yeah, audio is good. I feel really rusty. Oh, by the way... Um, congratulations to the five new members. Uh, I don't know, YouTube, there was a thing and it said about uh, you can invite new members, 10 members. So I've done five. I might do another five later. I might leave it for another week. I don't know. I wouldn't even do it. Poor members don't even get much nowadays. We're going to start a, I think it's going to be a Tuesday evening members only stream, which is going to be like a Zoom chat thingy, my Bobby, but we'll stream it so anyone who doesn't want their face to be on the chat can join in in chat. So that's what we've done. We've extended this show a bit and then we're moving the members to another evening. That's what we're doing. So yes. Yeah, you got one. I didn't choose, by the way. I, I'm sorry, everyone. Anyone that got a membership from me just then, don't feel special. I didn't choose. YouTube just said, give five memberships. And I clicked that and before you know, bing, 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 five people got a membership. So yeah. Um, How do you get a green name? Is a green, green name's a member, Jackie? Maybe you get lucky when I do the next five. It's random. You're right, Martin. It is random. Anyway, safety is... I'm digressing already, but that's, you know, how this stream goes. Andy Wilkinson, safe, Andy Wilkinson. 
first on the list. Ben M, how you doing, Ben M? Billy Leroy, safe. Cicero, safe. How you doing, Cicero? Hope you're right, mate. Craig Brown, how you doing, Craig? How you doing, Craig Campbell as well? Faxy safe with a double faxy safe. And I've got the I've got the safe mug as well. So cheers, Faxy. Coffee. Free Rider Vapor, how you doing, Free Rider? Lovely to see you in chat. Gemma Goodship, can everyone actually don't yet, but I'm just sending some hearts to Mrs. Flat Cup. And a kiss. Mwah. There you go, <laughs> Gem. Hack, how you doing? Safe hack. Safe in Banff, how you doing? It's me, Jackie. How you doing, Jackie? Hey Jackie, I was talking to Dean today. Remember Dean? I was talking to Dean, yeah, it was really nice. Um Jane, hi Jane. How you doing, Jane? Um just Josh, how you doing, Josh? You alright, mate? Top man. Josh has been a legend recently spamming out videos, even though I haven't done many. And the, the stream and all that kind of stuff. So thank you, Josh. You know I appreciate it, mate. Kevin Smith. How you doing, Kevin Smith? Lead your ex in the house and Lizzie OX. Hi, guys. How you doing? Lisa King. Safe, Lisa. You all right? You all right, Lisa? <laughs> I'm such a twat. Sorry. Manoj. How you doing, Manoj? Safe to you. Mark H. Safe, Mark H. And Mark Smith. Safe to you, Mark Smith. Martin Saunders. How you doing, Martin? Martin. Martin always cracks me up. He's just got little quips. If you ever see, catch his name in chat, next time you see him, not all the time, right? I don't want to put pressure on the poor guy. But he always puts these little crafty, funny comments. So keep an eye on Martin Saunders. Honestly, he's hilarious. Uh, Metal Vape. Safe Metal Vape. Mike Haynes is in. Hi, Mike. Nicky Maynard. How you doing, mate? Hope you're doing all right, buddy. Uh, Ollie. Ollie Maguire. Legend. Superstar. Hope you're doing all right, mate. Sean. Hope you're right, Sean. Hi, Sean. I think Jack might be in tonight. I think he's been working, best he's been busy. But Jack might be in as well. I'll be Mark too. Uh, big love to you. Hope everything is right over there. Uh, Sam Pollock, how you doing, Sam? Sean Lynch, you said hi a few times, Sean. I keep ignoring you. I'm not ignoring you. Hi, Sean. Simple Vape, how you doing? Hope everything's right over where you are, matey. Stuart Valentine, Stuart, Stuart, we're gonna, we gotta talk about, we gotta talk about everything, mate. Shrek, hi Shrek. Late night vape shows in. I'm getting all the celebs in tonight. Up to 49 views. Woohoo, Vapor Bunny, how you doing? And Zombie Panda is in the house. And if I've missed your name, Frederick Glazer, how you doing, Fred? Um, and then, yeah, I'll say hello as well. What have I missed in chat? What's been going on? Faxi, oh, you superstar. Hi, Pip, how you doing? Safe, everyone. Thank you so much for coming in. Really appreciate it. If you can hang around for as long as you can hang around, great, because this is a bit of a reboot. There's lots of new things going on this week. Uh, I'm hoping it might actually be a little bit funny as well. But that's probably a bit too much to ask. But we'll try. I try. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm, I feel sorry for Cicero in, in, the weeks, in this week's... Oh, in advance. Oh, Stuart with the fighting talk there. Right. Let me get um, just down to the updates on what the hell has been going on. Where have I been for the past two weeks? Um, very quickly. I won't waffle you all the boring stuff. Oh, me, me, me. Everyone feels sorry for me. No, I... It was like two Thursdays ago. I went to bed as you do, and I woke up and I had a sore neck. And I was just a bit like, oh, you know when you sleep funny? Uh, we, we, could, we can do, did I steal hand check time? No, I haven't done a buffet yet either, but there's not really much to tell you. Foam shrimps and I've got a top side, there you go. Um, yeah, my neck felt funny, and then like, the day after it still felt funny. And then the day after that, I literally could not move my, I was like this. I couldn't, oh, it was horrible. And it stayed like for about three or four days solid, like where I just, I was having to sleep, uh, sleep upright, asleep on the sofa, sat up. I couldn't lay down. I couldn't get comfortable. It was just horrible. Don't feel sorry for me. It was one of the worst pains I've ever been in. Um, whilst this was going on, uh, now you might actually know, some of you might know this if you've been around for a long while. Um, my my father-in-law has been, I say suffering with, fighting, fighting cancer, too much Viagra. He's been fighting cancer for about the last eight years. Um, Mrs. Flatcap would tell you what, lung cancer, he sent his liver, he's had other areas that have been scary, he's been fighting, fighting. Now, this is a guy who's been a lifelong bricklayer, and still to this day, he continues to be a builder. Uh, and always, throughout his whole time with cancer, he's fought and gone to work, and gone through chemo and different therapies, and had operations, and, and this and that, and just a, just a fighter, just an absolute fighter, does not give up going back to while well, my neck was really bad um you uh, put them hashtags in we had some we had some to be honest really devastating news um that they'd found i might not use the right words here but basically they'd found a lump on his brain um and at the time when it all kicked off he'd had a he had a seizure uh and he was rushed to hospital and all that kind of stuff 
uh, and that that day, the doctor or the consultant, who, uh, whoever was there, gave him mumps to live and said, you know, this is kind of, he's got mumps. Uh, obviously, since then, he's had additional scans. Um, I think the whole diagnosis is the same. So as you can well imagine, um, not just me, really, but Mrs. Flatcap and the whole family, and I mean the whole family, everyone you can imagine in a family from all over different parts of the country as well, have kind of been pulling together. Some have come up to see him. We've spent a lot more time with him. Well, maybe about this. We spent a lot of time with him anyway, but trying to figure it out. Well, what do you do? How do you how do you move forward with this? How long does he actually have? Is there any treatment? All this, all the kind of stuff you can well imagine. And you might have gone through this with one of a family member yourself. So that's been going on. And I just felt like, A, I wasn't in the right frame of mind. And B, I wanted to be available all the time if necessary for whatever. So yeah, with the neck and that um, was just, uh, yeah, I thought I can't do a show. <laughs> you just, if you're not in the right frame of mind and other things are going on yet. So yeah, I, you're absolutely right, Lane of Show. He, he's the kind of guy that won't just let it win. He will keep fighting, keep moving on. I, I think this one's hitting pretty hard. I mean, he's had some, as you can imagine, over the last eight years, eight years of chemo and all that, he's had some horrible news throughout those years and, and plenty of times where they've said, oh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Aiden M, how you doing? Um, this one's pretty devastating, and we're not quite sure what's going to happen next. So yes, we're we're just uh, you know is what it is. But yeah, I just wanted to let you all know reason why it it does mean maybe in future if there's a week I'm like I, I can't do this week, you can all take the Mickey because it's fine. I get it. But it, it might be because of a reason to do with that. Maybe I've got to go and help with something. Maybe Mrs. Flatcap's got to go and help her dad. Who knows? But just as a little pre-warning, we really don't know how things are going to go um, over the next couple of months. So, yeah. Mm. Lose on radiotherapy now, not as bad as chemo. I think that might be what uh, my father-in-law is going to have. Or he's going to have some some clinical trials we're we're not sure they haven't given up on him and that's the amazing thing that i really thought it was going to be kind of like the the because the, he's been on you know he's been in the cancer ward for this many years now i thought they were going to give up on him but it looks like they're not quite giving up on him which is really really good um so yes please if you could please put some hearts in chat for mrs flatcap and she has told me profusely don't be nice to her because maybe being nice to her uh makes her well up bless her she's she's been she has been struggling but she's she's a fighter is mrs flatcap and she'll keep fighting so yeah all the love send her some love i know she doesn't want it but she's tough tough she's got the flat cave on her now she's got the flat cave group yeah so yeah that's all the bad the, all the sad stuff out of the way my neck's better by the way i'm i'm feeling good now <laughs> i am feeling good and i'm really excited to be back uh, i if you've if you've been keeping the tabs on the channel, you'll notice there's not really been many videos. That's not really the plan with the whole channel now. There will be the odd smattering, so that's cool. And actually, it's been quite nice. Um, we're going to get straight on with a brand new feature, and it's going to be a weekly one. And it's going to be it's kind of stolen. Uh, they're all all us all these vape shows all just recycled, regurgitated nonsense, aren't they? And I'm just you know jumping on the bandwagon. No, this one I think's um quite fun. Oh. Two more things. Firstly, you might have noticed this week's show sponsor is Atty Stack, which means I'm giving away, giving up some Atty Stacks. Two, actually. I'm going to do two, uh, which I'll show you in a little while. I'll do my whole spam in the whole Atty Stack thing a bit later. Um, and you might see in the bottom there... Oh, my comment my hand in the right place. Sponsor slot on hold. I have a potential new sponsor joining the crew very, very soon, which will take up this week of the week four slot. As soon as I have more information, I will give you that. I'm very excited. A very, I hope, I'm just, fingers crossed, I'm just waiting for a confirmation message from him. And then we'll have a new week for sponsor. Because I ain't sending you lot out stacks every fourth week. Sod that. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm only joking. You know I would. Um, no, unfortunately not, Sean. What's that, unfortunately not? I don't even know. We'll, we'll talk about them later, Sean. I didn't mean unfortunately not. That sounds really mean. Really mean. It's not, it's not fluid, though, no. They 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 they've got bigger things to they got bigger fish to fry, haven't they? Anyway, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be doing something else. I need to change that bumper. That's so boring. But I like the bird. The bird's really cute. Not parrot. 
wherever it is. Yeah, anyway, right. Here's what we're gonna do every week. I'm not gonna faff around trying 10 different products. I wanna have a feature e-liquid each week, uh, which is up for sale if any if any e-liquid manufacturers want me to, to want to be their feature. It's 500 pounds for one feature for the one week. So, you know, and that money gets sent to you got you guys. Anyway, no, not really. Uh, I'm gonna choose one this week. I've been the first week just randomly, and this is a non-sponsored thing either. So what I mean is like, um, just because it's Lead Your X's week doesn't mean I'm gonna try the Lead Your X e-liquid. I know it sounds mean, but, you know, I'm going to kind of mix it up a little bit. This one was kindly sent to me from Mr. Shrek. Aramaxi Root Beer. Root Beer from Aramaxi. Now, Aramaxi, um, Lizzie, you know, you know Lead Your X is going to get a, a feature every now and then. 100%. I've already told Chris that. I was like, don't worry, Chris. I'm sure Lead Your X will be featured. Anyway, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to pop this on a dripper. And I'm going to vapor during the stream. I'll give you my initial thoughts. And at the end of the stream, if I remember, you might have to remind me, Ben. <laughs> I'm going to see what I think. You go, actually, I'm a bit bored of it now after vaping it for whatever. No, Martin. More more free marketing for Legio X, I say. Hi, Net Reality. How you doing? So, yeah, that, that's the idea. So, I don't know what we might get into. If any of you out there have a particular e-liquid you want me to discuss, even if it's something crap, not cheese or any dodgy ones, but if you've got an e-liquid which is sat on your shelf and you are happy to post it to me and you don't put added chemicals that are going to kill me in it and I trust you, <laughs> then I'm happy to feature that even if it's shoddy or something you think should be popular but is not. I don't know. You get what I mean though. I'm going to try and mix it up. Something different each week. This week we're going for Aramaxi because Shrek sent me these and I haven't reviewed them. Um, and I was stupid enough not to speak to Aramaxi at Expo. Never tried Black Rose. Oh, Black, Ro Black Rose root beer is much nicer. I can't even remember ever actually drinking root beer. Um, the, the test device is going to be, going to be that's going to be the device, but on top I'm going to have some kind of dr uh, dead rabbit. When's, when's Drop Dead coming out? I don't know. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to quickly juice this up, but I'll keep talking. So, yeah, yeah this, is, this is just kind of like... Something a bit different. One thing, actually, there's no nick in this. So during the stream, if I get a bit kind of like, you know, I might have to go back to what I'm vaping on. But we'll see. Warning. This show contain nicotine. I mean, I've got to live up to that, haven't I? So, you know, we might, we might, <laughs> I might go between this. And if it's really bad, then I'm just not going to vape it until it's terrible. But I have heard good things about this. And I've heard pretty good things about Aramaxi. Anyone tried Aramaxi? What do you all think? Is the e-liquid good? Shreki sent me root beer and also pink lemonade, which smells amazing. So thank you, Shrek. Man juice doesn't count. <laughs> a mouthy lemon is like vaping, uh, having a wh whore bag, joking yourself out of your junk all night long while smoking pipes. <laughs> what the hell, Faxi? <laughs> uh, what did you want an update on? Oh, Simple Vape. No, I haven't posted your parcel, but me and Mrs. Flatcap are doing a parcel run on Monday or Tuesday, and I hope to get yours out then. And I'll let you know when it's gone, and hopefully it will arrive all the way to you. Okay? Um, I'm just, I'm just, you know, doing the, doing the boring bit. It smells like, um... Kind of reminds me of like a. What is that smell? It smells like cow pole. <laughs> no, it's got that. What is that smell? Someone please, please help. Please help. What even is root beer? I can't remember even drinking root beer. It does smell like root beer. What is root beer based on? I'm sound like an idiot now. Bubble gum. Germaline. Germaline. Oh, is it Shrek? Oh, germaline smells like us. <laughs> oh, germaline. What the hell? Aniseed. Yeah, I'm definitely picking up hints of aniseed, but I'm I'm not a big aniseed fan. But that didn't. Oh bloody hell! What have I done? What the hell have I done? I need a mop. I don't need a mop. I need a rag. I need a rag. <laughs> This is going well, Gaz. This whole e-liquid test is just you being a prat for 10 minutes. Um, how the F can we tell what it smells like? Because other people have clearly tried it, or at least can tell me what root beer is meant to taste like. It tastes like. Um, sas, sasparilla. 
sarsaparilla i mean what what is sarsaparilla <laughs> oh dear you didn't like the black rose one craig okay am i feeling it's like having an orgasm it's like having a lady of the night choke herself out on your junk all night long <laughs> faxy faxy the dirtbag machine going in with the amalfi spam i like it um let me just i'm nearly there uh, i'll give you initial thoughts and then I'll just randomly vape it during the stream, and then you know we'll we'll um we'll talk about it ever uh, talk about it at the end. Gaz needs a rag. <laughs> have I joined the right stream? Yeah, you have. Uh, One hundred ninety-six watts. I actually quite like that. It's very sweet. You do get an aniseed kick. It's definitely got like a medicine-y vibe, but it's really nice. What's that? Be Benilin. That's what it reminds me of. Benilin cough medicine. <coughs> oh, that's what it is. It's like Benilin. It's really nice. I like Benilin. I like that cough medicine. You're right, Andy. Faxi is a legend. Yeah, okay. Initial thoughts. It's making me cough, but I think that's just me being a donut and over dripping. Benilin y medicine y sweetness. Uh, you knew I'd like a sweet, nice one, Shrek. Yeah. Um, Unusual, but quite nice. It's got a kick to it. It's got, an, it's got uh, the, the it, it kind of in a little way reminds me of some disposable kind of flavours because they are quite strong, quite a strong, punchy kick to it. But the sweetness kind of, it's kind of like still quite smooth taste. It's not sharp at all. Um, drop the wattage, bubble gum will come through at lower voltages. Oh, I'll give that a try in there. We'll try 80 watts. Hi, Blazing. Do you know what, Nick? You're not wrong. Still getting aniseed-y, um, benilin, cough medicine-y kind of taste. But you're right, that bubblegum does come through a little bit on lower wattages. That's amazing, isn't it? It's like magic. <coughs> but it still keeps getting to the back of my throat. Is that cinnamon, you reckon? I don't know. I could get used to that though. It is on the sweet side though, so yes. Right, moving on, moving on, moving on to some other things we've got to do. Benlin is really selling it, guys. Do you not like Benlin? I like it. Oh, you don't like it, Jackie. Fair enough. Um, news. Okay, news. News is a bit up and down this week. I didn't really focus on this category too much this week, but nonetheless, let's do the news. Did I did I keep the news bumper? Because I know people like the news bumper, especially the angry pigeon one. People love that it's just, one. It's just one. But that's the Rage one. Did I keep the original? Yeah, I did. I just, I just wonder what this twinning is all day. I just wonder what... Why is that so big? Oh, we're going to do the rant one because that's a giant screen. I just, I just wonder what this twinning is all day. I just wonder what's the news. I don't know what's going on with that pigeon, but I'll sort it out for next week. <laughs> okay, the only real bit of news I really wanted to talk about, um, and I feel like I've kind of missed the trick here, or not missed the trick, but I think I'm a few days or at least a week or so late, is all the news would be focused on Aussie at the moment, I dare say. Yes, Aaron. Yes. Um, I feel sorry for the Aussies and everything that's going on there. I feel particularly sorry for the people I know who are Australian and living out there in vape, uh, including the reviewers. Um, but, but I'm also scared. I'm also very scared. And I've been saying this, and I think Vic said something about this recently as well, about um, does this kind of pose a threat for us in the UK and other places around the world? Quite possibly. Um, I've always said, I've always said that I've, as much as we feel we're safe here, we ain't safe. We're no way near safe. Let's have some Benelin. You know, um, they're all criminals. <laughs> I, yeah, so half of me feels very sorry, and I can't imagine what these Australians are going through, these Australian vapors are having to deal with right now, what they're, how they're dealing with it, how they're planning, what they're organising. Uh, Bogan is moving with blazing. Obviously, that's the big news. Next year's UK... EC Click Awards first place is going to Vaping Bogan because he's moving over here, which I think is very exciting. Um, I'll be honest, 
He's not always been my favourite reviewer, and that's not even a dig, really, is it? Because, you know, I can't say always my favourite. Um, but he's he's massive, isn't he, Bogan? And he's brought out some really decent stuff as well, which is good. The blottos, particularly, and the, the stubbies do well, and that kind of stuff. Having, but the fact that he's had to pick up his whole family, not just him, but obviously his wife and kids, and ship them off to the UK... I mean, that's a huge move if you're just doing it because of a job or whatever, but he's doing it because of laws that are coming in this country that are obviously going to affect his his job. Um, I'll be number three, Shrek. Well, I'm pulling out now. <laughs> and I had actually good plans to pull out anyway. Um, you didn't like the didn't like root beer back on the shelf, Kevin? Oh, that sucks. Um, I genuinely do feel... feel I, I can't imagine having to just uproot your whole family because of vaping. That's... Part of me think that's bonkers. Part of me does think that's absolutely bonkers. But the other part of me goes, well, he's had to make that choice based on his career and everything he's done and obviously things planned, Bogan being a business. Exactly, guys, you know. And uproot your whole family because of it. That's just bonkers. But I get it. I do get it. So my heart goes out to not just him. Obviously, Legion has effectively closed his vape side of his channel and is now going to be other things as well. I don't quite know about other Australian reviews. I'll have to see what the Friday Night Vape Club are doing, what he's doing. I'm not even sure if he's that active as much nowadays. Uh, but there's a number of different Australian reviewers. Uh, Stuart, RB, even Aaron. I'm sure you keep tabs on Aussie reviewers. If you guys have any suggestions for Australian reviewers who people should check out or if they put videos up on their thoughts and anyone wants to catch up on what people are doing, uh, what reviewers and other streamers, I don't know, Australian YouTube live shows that are talking about Please put them in chat. Please let people know his names. I don't really know many Australian reviewers, so it'd be good to kind of know a couple and see what they're doing and what their plans are. Is there there's some there's some word that some vape shops have been getting um, a squiddly stop reviewing longer? I thought, yeah, I thought you were still doing his lives, though, Aaron. Um, yeah, I heard some shops in Australia were already getting fines and stuff, but it's not until March, so yes. Shall we put bets on Bogan and move to Birmingham? I don't know where he's moving to, actually. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Irvin, Scotland. <laughs> Imagine if he lived next door to next door to Vic. That'd be brilliant. <laughs> oh. Waitham is moving to Bali. He's a well known mixer slash reviewer from Australia. Oh, I didn't know I'd check I did not know that. I'll have to check that out. <clears throat> they do have better craft beers, that's right, Kevin. Yeah, I, I I'm sure um He'll be welcome over here. I'm sure he'll be fine. I'm sure him and his family will be great. I, I I like to think myself as a family man. And, you know, my kids are my priority. So having to move them anywhere, you know, away from their home, just... I don't know how people do it. You know, I'm sure maybe... maybe you never know. Maybe one day I'll have to do it. And you just do it. And it is what it is. But still, you move from Australia to the UK. It's just... My brother went from the UK to Australia. You know, he's made a life himself over there. Fine, but... You've got a family and everything. It's different. And I mean, Bogan is such an Aussie as well. He's not even, he's not like he's going to come over and just get away with it. People are going to know he's, <laughs> you know, because he's a little bit unusual, isn't he? Well, at least I think so. I bet if he moved to York, he'd have a cellar. Oh, he would, wouldn't he? His cellar dweller would be stalking him. He's moving to Vic's old studio. <laughs> I have no idea. But look, if we can support Bogan, please do. Um, in any way. Because it's a big step, big step for anyone. And he's obviously put, a, I mean, he's, he's A, put a lot of work and effort and time into the vape world and the vape community and all that kind of stuff. And he comes to expos and all that kind of stuff. So he puts himself out. But B, yes, he has made a career out of it and a job out of it and earned money out of it. That You, you can't take that away from him, though. When you put that much time and effort into something, you kind of deserve something back, you know. A pound to move to Australia, 10 grand to move back <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much, Josh. Root beer. If only there was a stack for Bogan. That keeps catching the back of my throat. <clears throat> I think you're right, Shrek. I think that is a bit of cinnamon. He's relocating for work. Nicely put, Jackie. Mmm... Uh, it means he'll be able to watch Arsenal. Yeah, he will be. Yeah, that's true. We'll be able to watch Arsenal. Right, what was I talking about? Well, I can't give you too much information, but I was I was sitting here um, about a week or so ago, and I see that I think Nick's Tips. Who made the drip tips? Nick's Tips? Nick's Nipple Tips? 
Next tips. Uh, are doing, they're done or they're doing or something where you buy the next tips, drip tips, and a certain percentage of the sales goes towards Bogan's fund for him moving over here. Um, and I thought I would, I would do something similar. But I weren't doing it for nothing. And what I mean was, I wasn't just going to say, well, any atty stack, bish bash bosh, um, and a percentage goes to Mr. Bogan. So I contacted Mr. Bogan, and thanks to Shrekky Boy, Mr. Bogan got back in touch with me. Uh, and what I've designed is a limited edition atty stack for Mr. Bogan, which is going to be hopefully out for general sale. The designs are done. I've sent them over to Mr. Sam Bogan. I'm just waiting on him to give it the all clear. And 50% of all sales of the Bogan limited edition Atty Stack will go directly to him to help him with his move, with his kids, with the house he moves into, with whatever. It just goes to Mr. Bogan to, to do with as he will. That might mean he gets a tenner from me. <laughs> it might mean he gets 50 quid, 100. It all depends obviously on sales. I'm gonna show you a couple of quick pictures because I haven't had it all confirmed from him yet that he's happy with it and he's good to go and all that kind of stuff. But uh, from my perspective, sure, I don't earn as much from, you know, giving 50% to him, but I can't, I couldn't just give him money. I just ain't got the money to just give him money to support him. So I thought, well, this is something I can do. And it does mean that supporters of him can get a special Bogan themed Atty Stack, which I'm quite excited to see. They're gonna be available in two colors. I shouldn't even be showing you yet because it's not even been. But you lot are special. Um, these are the these are the basic designs. They'll be like a green, which is kind of it's kind of like the FCV green to be fair, and it's like a very hot magenta pink. Uh, and I'll show you. Oh, the base of them. Oh, I can't see it very well. The base of them has got all the Bogan skulls on. Atty stack your dick off. <laughs> this has changed. This is actually an old picture. I've changed the design a little bit, but basically, there you go. <laughs> I should have done an Atty Stack Your Tits Off as well for the ladies. Special request, ladies, if you want Atty Stack Your Tits Off, then yeah, I can do that. It looks a bit reddish in this picture, but it is a very hot pink. So, there you go, and there's the base. Oh, no, this is the wrong ones. I'll show you. I've got it here. Here you go. So, there's going to be, not all of them, but you've got the Boro trays. Um, we've got the 25. We've got a, a MIDI storage, what, what I'm doing. This is a special edition. This is a... Not it's not a dual shallow stock stack and it's not a deep stack. It's kind of a MIDI base. It's kind of a MIDI storage. So yes, they're not available yet though. I need I need Mr. Bogan's approval. So and there's there's the black there's the green ones. So yeah, but yeah, like I say, I'm just waiting on Mr. Bogan's approval and they will be out on vaping style. And yeah, fifty percent of all sales of those particular stacks will go directly to Mr. Bogan to help with his move, which is good. I'm very excited. Atty stack me tits off, Jackie. Okay, we'll we'll talk. I'll have to do some tits off ones, won't I? Thank you, Andy. Now I'm just it's something I can do, and you know people get something out of it as well. So yes, I'll let you know as soon as it's out. Stubby stack. Do you know what, actually, Shrek? Funny enough, I was thinking about making a a, a a tray that holds the stubby, and then I was thinking about one that does all the Odins. But then I haven't got the V2 Odins, and I was like, oh. So I've got to go and buy them, and then I've got to wait for them to arrive. Then I've got, to, and I just, I was like, time. I want to get this out there so people can, you know. But anyway, that might be a future thing. We'll see how it goes. If sales go well, and I can send Mr. Bogan, you know, some fair decent money, he might be interested in doing other things. Next up, I want to get Grim Green. I'm going to have a Grim Green special edition, a Vaping with Vic special edition, and Mike Vapes. Someone said about having a Jay Hayes Atty Stack. I was like, that probably cost me ten grand just to use his logo. So sod that. Um, <laughs> uh, what else have we got here? Oh yeah, just that one. Yeah. Anyway, no, go, go away. Right, moving on. This show is going to be three hours if I don't if I keep waffling. Maybe Shrek. Maybe we'll talk and we'll do something. Ben's like, I'm the Odin King. <laughs> we'll we'll see. I I, I don't know because always then I'm going to have to do like any product that Bogan's done. I'm going to need a, a tray for it, an atty tray for it. And I was like, oh, it's getting a bit long now. We'll see. But thank you everyone for your kind offers. Um, but yeah, they'll be available hopefully soon. Right, a new category. This is a good one. And this is all thanks to you. You lot are the feature of this, this category. This is a good one. I 
I don't know what it is. I just like bumpers with animals in it. Right. Story of the week. You lot all got tricked. Ha <laughs> ha. Because I deliberately asked the question on the Flat Cave group to enter the race. Tell us a story. Story of the week. Get it? <laughs> so we're going to go over to here. This is my personal f this is my personal Facebook. I'm going to I was going to just pick one. One of your stories from people that put them in in, in the Flat Cave group. <laughs> Get ducked. But <laughs> I decided um I'm wait a second. not making me cough now i think because i'm talking so much it makes my throat go funny um but that's not bad though ruby i'm going to read out as many of these stories as i think were funny some of them i'm just saying this some of you put in zero effort and you're lucky i even put you in the race honestly there you go andy Carruth. no offense andy but there was a start a middle and end that is a poor race entry there's a few like that. You can read them yourself. Anyway, let me go through these. Um, Phil Halliwell. A man meets a female sex worker in a bar. She says, this is your lucky night, mate. I've got a special game for you. I'll do absolutely anything you want for £300 as long as you can say it in three words. The man replies, hey, why not? He pulls his wallet out of his pocket and lays 300 on the bar. How long is this story? Oh, and says slowly, paint my house. Fred, Fred, poor effort. Now let me tell you a story. When your ex says he wants you back. Sam, that is a... Oh, that's that's my... that's Where is... Oh, you can't see that, can you? That's my... that that I'd put that in shock. Look, I was like, wow, is that true? Um, Harry Willis and I used to dream I was Harry Styles. Crispin Bates. Crispin Bates nailed it. We've just put me in the race. <laughs> There's one story in particular I can't wait to get to. Uh, but let me carry on. A man is in a hotel lobby. He, want, he wants to ask the clerk a question. As he turns to go to the front desk, he accidentally bumps into a woman beside him. And as he does, his elbow goes into her breast. Ooh! They're both quite startled. The man turns to her and says, Ma Ma'am, oh ma'am, if your heart is as soft as your breast, I know you'll forgive me. She replies, if your penis is as hard as your elbow, I'll be in room 99. Nice, Ian. That's, see, that's the story. Even if, he, even if he Googled it and whatever, that's still good. Um, why are they rude? Everyone's rude. Ben Martin. There was a young man from Nantucket who went down a hill in a bucket. The last words he spoke before the, the before the rope broke were "asshole, you bugger, and suck it." Crikey, Mark Hawes. Mark Hawes says, "Once upon a cybernetic twilight in a city where neon lights painted the light, not neon lights painted the night, there lived a mysterious reviewer named Gaz, clad in a vintage flat cap." <laughs> he navigated the digital realms with a swagger that mirrored <laughs> What is this? Did AI write this for you, Mark? Gaz's workspace was a spectacle, a sanctuary for the anti stack. It bloody is at the minute. It's flipping. There's, there's trays here everywhere. It's bonkers. Um, um, word of Gaz. One of Gaz's feet spread across the digital community and soon he found himself at the centre of burgeoning, burgeoning revolution. The artist had become a symbol of innovation. Yeah, yeah. and attracting brilliant customers from every corner of the community. I love it, Mark H. Thank you. Um, that was a good one. Stuart Valentine. I'm going to read this because Stuart is just the best. A couple of hundred years ago in a place called England, there were some bad people. Oh, There were some bad people who stole bread so they could eat. Because their queen was a bitch. So she put them on a boat with a wanker called Cook. Ah, they sailed on the other side of the, to the other side of the world and landed in an unknown country. This country was beautiful and warm. So they stayed there and made a new life. The people were happy and they drank beer and sang and said lots of rude words in most sentences. You bloody dickhead. <laughs> oh, they could even run around naked and people would laugh and only worry if they brought, thought it was too cold. Then this real big prick called Mark Butler come along and, and banned vaping and fucked it all up. The end. <laughs> oh, that was a good one, Stuart. These stories are good. Um, Ollie. I have to kind of proofread these. It was a summer's day. The sun was beaming on the... I should have proofread these before I actually started reading them. <laughs> it was a summer's day. The sun was beaming and the birds were chirping. A man named Gaz decided to pick up a vape and a camera. He filled himself blowing intense clouds. Benelin. Unknown to him, he would create a following of strange people. That's bloody true. Ollie. <laughs> Who would also like to blow clouds. These people followed Gaz and eventually formed a cult of cloud-blowing 
craziness called the flat cave they enjoyed watching penguins no we don't like penguins and other creatures run across the computer screen the end very good ollie <laughs> oh oh dear jane a winter's poem shit it's cold out <laughs> very good very good oh here we go shrek <clears throat> shrek is going to be controversial here about shrek well there's a short bloke who invented a storage system then copyrighted it but then some absolute food grit come along and essentially copied it. Said clown then charged essentially twice as much as the short bloke for less than half the storage. Want to hear the rest of the story? Tune into Discord. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, you're savage, Shrekie. There once was a man called Dave who dug up a po prostitute's grave. She was mouldy as shit and missing a tip, but look at the money he saved. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wow, Billy Lee. Once upon a time, there was a wee mouse called Fred who lived alone in a little hole in the back of a wall of a bakery. Fred had one dream and one dream only, world peace. What is this? He made it a mission to unite the world all by himself. His plan was to bake cakes. Lots of cakes, big cakes, small cakes, cakes for pets, cakes for children, cakes for little old ladies to share with a cup of tea. Well, it worked. One day, his story was picked up by the local rag. Next thing, Fred, Fred knows he's being interviewed by all sorts. People were amazed. By not only a talking mouse, but a talking mouse who could bake. Little by little, the news trickled down through all the countries, and we, Fred, become a superstar overnight. Eventually, Fred got his message out to the whole world, and everybody came together in peace and harmony, blah, 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 the end. Brilliant, Billy Lee. Now, that's a story. <laughs> you were stoned. <laughs> that's what I need, though. We need some fun stories. Uh, this one time in band camp. I like it. I'm not saying that the way you should say it. This one time in band camp. Thomas! Hey, Thomas, yeah, I know Metal Vape is around. Hi, Metal Vape. Sorry, mate. Uh, a long time ago, I got arrested for drunk and disorderly. While being transported in the back of the police van to the station, I let out a nice, wet, loud, raspy fart that stunk out of the police van and left all the officers in the van gagging for air and spewing up. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm not reading yours, Andy, now you've said that. That was a good one, Thomas. Flat cab has great expectations of us. Yeah, well... If I'm honest, I, when I asked to tell us a story, I, I thought someone would go, oh, you wouldn't believe what happened this week. I was driving a car and someone cut someone up and blah, 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 blah. No, everyone's like, everyone's like very imaginative. I like it. Um, let me have a sweep of this. Because we've got Legio X here. You will probably have read it already. There once was a little penguin called Chris. All Chris wanted to do all day was slide on the ice and live a happy little penguin life. One day, Chris fell, fell through the ice into the deep blue sea. A polar bear called <laughs> a polar bear called Lizzie swam along and ate him. It's a recurring nightmare. At the end. Oh, that's harsh, but that's funny. And Lizzie's even come back. Why are you so mean to me, Josh? With this amazing picture, of, you can't see it well. Me in a in a neck brace. Very good. Oh, where's it gone? Very good, Josh. Thank you very much for that. Mine Saunders, in a streaming space far away, there was an amazing community called the Flat Cave, the end. Yeah! And they all vaped heavily ever after. Mark Smith, terrible effort. Once upon a time, far, far away. Uh, not not all those who wander are lost. Oh, that's insightful, Paul. Andy, will everybody listen. Andy Wilkinson's one. He wants us to read it out. <laughs> a few weeks ago, Gaz McFlatcap made a post regarding who you'd who would you want to see as Prime Minister? I did actually. That was the original theme for this episode two weeks ago, wasn't it? After careful consideration, discussion, discussions with the people lesser than me, <laughs> I put myself forward and began a lobbying campaign using the picture attached. Is there a picture? Oh, my days. This was a selfless act. You can't see the rest, can you? There you go. I gained unri unrivaled support from the poor and un underprivileged members of the group and began selecting subordinates to help me rule the kingdom and those privileged to know me. However, it seemed that our host saw this revolution and become scared and concerned that I would become a higher power and cancel the show. <laughs> Very suspicious. I, I have written a long worded letter and set up a government commission to highlight these failings. Up the revolution. Ah, there you go. Oh, look, it's even... You're not going to see it when I do this, but it's even a picture of him. Oh, I'll... Um, uh, I'll tell you what I do. Uh, oh, no, I'm not doing that. Cause... But yeah, that's, that's nice, Andy. That's nice. <laughs> I haven't received your long-worded letter. Delusional. <laughs> Joe Headley, what, our, our whole universe 
was in a hot, dense state that nearly 14 billion years ago expansion started. The Earth began to cool, the autotrophs began to draw, Neanderthals developed tools, we built a wall, we built the pyramids, math, science, history, un unravelling the mystery. That all started with a big bang. Nice. It was the best of times, it was the worst. Greg, that's a poor story. I'm just calling people out for their nonsense now. We need to, if this ain't crap, you're going to get marked down. I'm going to unsubscribe. <laughs> I need some nicotine. There was a guy from West Philadelphia who got into a got into a fight while playing basketball. He had to move out to his aunt and uncles in Bel Air. Apparently, he became the Fresh Prince. Very nicely done, Craig. I nearly thought you were telling an actual, like a a, 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 a unique story there, and you tricked me. Uh, a few weeks ago, I found fifty quid. Nice, Sandy. Ian Bamforth. I told Ian Bamforth off because he just put a good story, and I was like, "You're supposed to at least try." So he did come back with a story later on. This is the one. Oh, Sandy put, there was someone in my work who believed in popcorn lung. Blimey. Lizzie, there once was a young man called Andy who always felt fine and dandy. Along came a tornado that knocked off his halo and his ankles were no longer eye candy. Brilliant. <laughs> good effort there, Lizzie. That was really good effort. I like the dedication there. And there you go. I even put that. It's going to be a feature. And they were all the stories of the week. So thank you, everyone, for your wonderful stories. Um, we might do the same next week and I want more creativity please um, but not long stories let's keep them like one small paragraph because <laughs> we'll be here all night because it's been like 45 minutes already but we've got loads of time okay moving on moving on moving on I'm, I'm kind of bored with root beer no it's making me cough <coughs> A little bit of it gets my throat. I mean, it's George Jackie. Did I? <coughs> I can't even think about that. Every now and then, it, it just a little bit gets in my throat. Where's yours, Jackie? I'm looking. Oh, wait a second. All comments. I had it on top comments. I'm, I'm looking for Jackie's or anyone else's that I missed. Mark, Mark, Lizzie, Martin. Lee Joe Craig, uh, Thomas Berg got that one, Billy Lee got that one. Jackie, ah, oh, here we go. Found ya. I will try pink lemonade. I feel like that's getting in my throat. It's been 84 years and I can still smell the fresh packet of fags my mate bought for me. The lighter had never been used. My lungs, let me bring it up on here. You lot can read it. The light had never been used. My lungs had never experienced a sensation of choking. Smoking was called cool back then, and it was. It really was. True, it's kind of true, Jackie. That's until we realised what numpty we all are and decided to change our lives for the better and found something called vaping, and then a load of cool people. <laughs> the rest, as they say, is history. That's a nice story, Jackie. I like that one. You will be part of the race, Mr. Simple Vape, if you join the Flat Cave group and comment on this post, but no, I don't think you did, my friend. You gotta be on there. Um, there you go. Back to me. My story. I won fifty quid. Oh yeah, thanks. He had a scratch card. He won fifty bucks. It's been eighty-four years. <laughs> right. We're gonna go to another category now, which is um, an old category that I've just kept in. It's it's a bit like the whole. It's just. It's just. It's a bit like the ranty version of that. This is what this has become. Yeah, we'll do it now. We'll do it now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Flatty's Thought of the Week. Right. If you've been on the Discord group, you'll know what we're going to talk about now. <laughs> okay. Right. Little disclaimer. A little disclaimer, I need to make sure I'm in the right frame of mind for this. A little disclaimer. When I first started at Stack, I was well aware that I was making a, a storage system for vape products, and that's not new. And I was well aware that there has been many hundreds of millions of different type of atomizer stands, and I, what I'm doing is not new. I was also well aware, and I think I said this multiple times, that I'm I'm 100% expecting this to get copied in some way. Because that's... 
I, I genuinely thought I'd come up with a good idea. Having something that was stackable and modular, it's a, I, I thought it was a good idea. And I think it is a good idea. Um, Sales-wise, have been pretty good. It's been going well. Not fantastic, crazy, super, I'm selling billions of them, you know, but it's been going well. I'm really pleased with it. Oh, I don't want to be an arse, because there's some things I will say about this, um, which I think are fair. Arcanum mods who make really nice, I really like Arcanum mods and I've featured them on the stream a number of times. I think they're really cool looking and I've been very tempted in the past to pick one up. I've had conversations with Arcanum mods, particularly when I started 3D printing myself. We had some to and fro's, real nice conversations. And then they released their modular, the modular by Arcanum mods. Which is, yeah, it's a modular stackable system. And as you can see, you've got here, you've got your trays, you've got your, your stands, your uprights, and it looks really nice. You've got these bits on the side, these attachments that make it fully modular. Um, and I did have a dig on Facebook. Um, I had a dig. I don't know why I had a dig. Is it a dig like, oh, you copied me? It kind of was. It kind of was a bit of a dig like, oh, you just, you copied me. But I felt I had to say something. I felt if I didn't say something, then I'm just, I don't know. I, I also, when, when I did have a dig, I did get a comment back from him kind of saying, well, you know, it's, you know, it's obviously ours is a different design. Um, you know, it's always good to have a bit of healthy competition, give customers variety, they're saying all the right things, absolutely. And I knew this would happen anyway. So once I'd kind of said what I wanted to say and got it off my chest, I kind of went, it's cool now. And I genuinely, genuinely, um, I don't really have a problem with it. Uh, I really like, I really like the little bits on the side you add. These, the, they've got a little notch and you can slide the bits on the side. I also like the look of them. I like the arcane on them. I like the stand, the way it works. I. I think it looks quite cool. I do genuinely think it looks quite cool. But I just made it clear to them that what they've created is always going to be called an Atty Stack, unfortunately. It's like the whole thing with the Coily Tool. And I think because of how things went with Simon and the Coily Tool, and the fact that his design and his idea got ripped off over and over and over again, that effectively made him stop making the Coily Tool, made me think, I'm going to stand up for myself when this happens to me, at least to some extent. So I wish I came the best of luck. I still love their mods. Um, I I don't know if I'd wish they'd message me. Hi, Gaz. We're going to do a version of your Atty Stack. We'll obviously change it so it doesn't look exactly like yours. Is that all right? I don't know if that would have been a good idea by them anyway. I think the fact we had so much nice conversation to and fro and then this come out kind of bugged me a little bit. That's not how I roll. And I didn't think that's how they roll. Um, but yes, if, if you have an Arcana mod and you like the guys, I don't really know them no there's no bad hard feelings it just kind of wound me up and i thought you should all know about it um any and you you all know it's on discord i've had a few digs but that's it for me now competition's good i like a bit of competition it's fine uh, and i don't know i'd like one on my shelf i guess so if i came to me want to send me one i won't smash it i'll have it displayed and i'll show people because i'm a community person first so that's that but you still got an atty stack on your desk. Anyway, now that's it. That's I just I, maybe I shouldn't have said anything, but I felt like I needed to say something. You know, uh, they look shy. I'm no. I think they look. I think they look good. You just I can just see my own product in it. That's the trouble. So, but I mean everything gets copied or recycled and altered. All the same with all vaping products and not just vaping products. With a lot of things, all the same kind of stuff and just tweaked and tra and changed. And it is what it is. Now let's do something nice. All right, let's do something nice. This is another new feature for the stream. Something not really competition is twice the price and half the capacity. I'm sure that it'll evolve, Shreki. I'm sure they'll evolve and make changes and do what they've got to do. Uh, I, I, the copyright thing, about Stuart, um, it's right. First of all, it's a pattern because I did look into patents. A, it's very expensive, but that's, that wasn't really the issue. The issue was what I'd want to patent would be very diff difficult to get a pattern on. A stackable, modular vape storage system. Very hard to get, you know, the, the full ownership of those things. Maybe them calling it the modular kind of bugged me a little bit, I suppose. But So, yeah, I do have copyrights on all my designs, 
all my designs uh, I have some copyrights on on um, things to do with the the, the the trade designs and the options and how they stack so either they've done their homework or they thought of what they think is a better idea so one or the other uh, maybe Jackie maybe I mean the, the yeah uh, Atty stack as a name is copyrighted um, your bad boy corner stack. I won't Faxi Faxi's got a really cool idea he wants me to make for him <laughs> uh, each tray would have to have a separate pattern yeah see that, that's why I did look at actually doing a pattern on the whole design idea but it's very difficult and would it even matter someone from China is just going to make it anyway attack of the clones sadly the problem you have here is that the larger company isn't going to care about one small man because you'll probably never bother with lawyers exactly Aaron so I might as well enjoy it while I can and actually take some credit from other people's rehashed designs off of my work and I think that's how I'm feeling about Arcane mods like I'm glad someone's seen something and gone that's quite good. I'm going to build on that and do my version of it. Maybe we'll see more. I still think anyone that makes one is going to just, they're going to be called an Atty Stack, which is cool. So that is good. I kind of take it as a compliment as well. And I genuinely have no hard feelings for the Arcanum mods. Still love their mods. Still think they're very good at 3D printing. So there's that. Maybe we'll bump into each other next week and have a nice cuddle. Wouldn't that be lovely? Right, next section. So community support is where we have the opportunity to actually do something nice for the community. So what you all need to do is go deep into your pockets and I'm going to send you a link to a GoFund... No, not really, I'm joking. <laughs> the idea of community support is that um, I or we, doesn't matter if you guys have ideas, we look at someone or something or a group or a channel or whatever it might be and I just do my little bit and we do our little bit to support them. I'm not muted. At, you nearly got me there. You nearly got me, Andy. This is the community support. This is where someone's going to come out with some extra pillows for Andy and make him comfortable in bed. No. Um, it, it, is, it is ironic after the last... That's a good point, Paul. I didn't really think about that. No. I'm I'm done with the whole Arcanum, Ar, Arcanum thing and I wish them nothing but the best. And anything, if anything, I've just given them free advertising. Uh, yeah, get membership. Yeah, <laughs> no. The, basically, guys. Yeah, each week we're just gonna. I'm gonna just briefly talk about something or someone or something we can do and someone we can support, which is the main thing. It always has been with this with this show. So you might have seen, and I kind of missed out on this because everything was going on with the whole family and my neck. I couldn't. I was just in no place to support as this was released. The fluid range, fluid. You, if you're in the scene, you all know who this is made by. You've got Pugs, Nevins, all those folks, all those kind of guys that have been very busy for a long, long time creating their new range, the Fluid Range. Shrek, he's done a couple of reviews on these as well. I imagine there's some other reviews coming out. I'm a bit behind on everything, guys. I don't even know who's released videos. Vaping Heat, how you doing? Um, No, I have been told they're on the way. And I promised them I would do this. <laughs> they said, they said so you you promote for us and then we'll send you the e-liquids, all right? <laughs> No, Shrek has re reviewed some, and from what I've heard, um, I have sized the, the, the root beer, Kevin, because it keeps making me cough. Um, I've heard, I haven't seen Shrek's reviews, I'll be honest. I've heard good things, and I genuinely wish these guys the best of luck. Um, I, I think it's cool. Yes, they've, they've teamed up with Wicklicker, which, let's be fair, a good, a good company to team up with when you're making a range. I've got to be honest, for releasing a range... It's a hell of a range. It's not like they brought out three or four or five. You know, they brought out every bloody flavour you can imagine. There's some really clever ones in it. Yorkshire Sip is like a Yorkshire tea with some biscuits and stuff. I don't know what that one tastes like. Oh, that sounds really interesting. And there's some other good ones. Um, let's have a look. Impeachment. Ripe peach syrup infused lemon. Finish off with a sprig of fresh garden mint. Cre uh, grenadier. Creamy buttery sponge cake with caramelised pineapple rings and a shot of... A spot of cherry jam. So... so they're sounding really good. So please, guys, if you can, go and support Fluid. I'm sure these guys have put a lot of time, effort, and probably money into this as well. They're, it's all UK branded. It's all UK guys. It's all UK vape scene. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys watch the Saturday Night Show and all that kind of stuff. Please support them. Yeah, there you go. There's a community support done. 
Does a lot for the community, definitely worth supporting him. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I have to admit, I haven't me and Pugs haven't really crossed paths much. Um but and he's obviously a busy guy. I'm a busy guy. Um recently we crossed paths, very recently. He's been amazing, he's been wonderful, and uh that's not the reason I've done this. I actually had this fluid post ready a few weeks ago, probably before Christmas, but he told me not to tell anyone. Um but yeah. Please, if you can, go and support Fluid. Go and try out a liquid. Just pick up a bottle if you can. 15 months. So you've been working for 15 months. Well, I'm not bloody surprised with that many different flavours out. Flipping heck. Old boy. Tart, cherry, compote, sandwich between tobacco-infused, buttery, frangipan, pastry, and finished with a mug of the Gaston Villiers. Crikey. Cat flap. There's so many. They sound really good. They, whoever's worded these. A bright and fizzy vanilla cream soda imbued imbued bloody hell with tart blue raspberry syrup i think that's one i asked for i think i asked for cobalt luzu which is a zingy lemon and yuzu curd filled buttery pastry case with a dusting of icing sugar to boot oh they sound really good i bloody hope they're as good as they sound they sound really really good fair play to the guys well done genuinely pleased for them please go and support them who's selling them just put in fluid just put in google fluid and you'll find them i see them in like vape club i think flipping Maybe exceptional exceptional vapes have them. Exceptional vapes have them. Um, they're probably on e sig one. There's a sixty four. Is there as a fifty fifty website? I can buy. It. Uh, if anyone wants to punch in a website, I say exceptional vapes. But you, you know, say here what you want. I'm sure someone like Vape Club uh, earlier today. Oh, of course, Net Reality Vape Gems have them. Vape Gems have them as well. So yes, there's loads of loads of vendors. Everyone say Vape Gems, Vape Gems, Vape Gems, Vape Gems. There you go. But I am legally obliged to say exceptional vapes. <laughs> right, now getting on to another one. We're doing good, actually. We've done an hour. <laughs> Got an hour to go. <laughs> no, we'll just we'll just run the stream as long as it wants. I'm going to try root beer one more time. And then if I get even a, a slight cough. This is interesting. Because you think when I do a juice review, I might vape it two or three or four times. And that's it. And it gets put down. I give you my thoughts. Doing this for a bit longer and I'm finding this little <clears throat> tickle in my throat. It might just be because I'm talking so much. You try talking solidly for two hours. It's not easy. I don't know how Grim Green does it. Right there. Just a little... <clears throat> you can You can do it, Andy. You can do it, Andy. You can do another hour. Will there be a stand for the anti-stack that I can fit a dot AIO in? Luke, there isn't currently. Um, I have started looking at... Uh, I'm ditching the root beer for tonight. It's, make, it's getting in my throat. Um, I have started looking at doing different stacks that can hold different mods. The trouble is, Luke, as you can imagine, as I'm sure you're well aware, the amount of different shapes and sizes and styles of mods, it's impossible to do one for all of them. Firstly, the amount of hours I'm going to spend designing them all would be ridiculous. And second of all, how popular would they be? Well, I would say to you, Luke, if you did want something and you have a particular idea, I am happy to do custom stuff. So if you go, look, I want my AIO like that and I want to put this next to it or whatever, give me a shout. I'll tell you what information I need and I can design it, plot it out, and then we can go from there. And I'll do it. I won't charge you much more. It's not like I'm going to go, it's 50 quid for one stupid tray just because it's particular. I feel like... I'm pretty um, reasonable with that kind of thing. So, yeah, feel free to message me. Or um, don't worry for the website. You can get through the Atestate website. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I'm doing I'm doing another. No, we do this one. This is an old category that I've rehashed. Is there ever going to be any good vape stuff out? I look right. I look left. <sighs> Nothing. Crap. <laughs> I like that orangutan. I'm going to do that one again. Do it again! Is there ever going to be any good vape stuff out? I look right. I look left. <sighs> Nothing. Crap. <laughs> I bet the bigger companies wouldn't take custom orders for modular storage. Nah, they wouldn't, Aaron! I'll do it, though. No, actually, I, I haven't done... To be honest with you, I haven't done many custom... Atty stack variants. There's only been a couple. Um, the one that comes to mind is there's two actually. One is Faxi. Faxi had a 40 millimeter. He had he had um, he had. Well, he, he didn't have this one, but 
But he, he had a version of this, but at the front, this come down like a fair bit, and then he had, and he had 40 millimeters and his piston stand in the middle. So that was um, that was fun to make. Um, the the second one, I should have photographed it. It was it was a boro. It was one of the boros like this, right? But then I had to create a ledge on the side so they could have two on the outside, but they fit in from the side. It was really cool. I don't know why they wanted it. But they did, and it was cool. Um, so yeah, uh, make a trade to hold Arcanum and make him more original. <laughs> Zombie that is savage. <laughs> um, the, you haven't done customs, but you have adapted bases in feedback. Yeah, yeah. Can you do me some custom legs that look like a ladder? <laughs> you are gonna break me. You know that, don't you? You're gonna break me. And the custom bad boy corner, corner monster is like, yes, Faxi, that's what we're going to work on. Um, let's see some pictures of your legs. New products, right? Starting off with the wonderful, the one and only hand of Mr. Lead UX. <laughs> okay, was I supposed to show anyone, Chris? Was it for tonight or was it for next week? I think this is the next release from Lead UX. I'll make it bigger. The picture, not anything else. Venus custard, a strawberry custard. Right, we all know that Lead UX are wonderful at their custards. A lot of people love Britannia, Roseus. I can pronounce those ones. I can pronounce Venus. Strawberry. I, I, I'm actually, I mean, you know me, I'm not a, much of a custarder. A custarder. Someone who vapes custard is called a custarder. But, yes, it'll be really interesting how they nail strawberry. I'm sure Shreky will be on it. Um, the, the strawberry watermelon, which obviously isn't a custard from Lidrex, is very good. So, yes... Keep an eye out for that, folks. Was it for next week? <laughs> it wasn't for next week, was it? Oh, yes. Yeah, that's right. Because Sean, Sean, Sean couldn't deal with custards like me. But he's been really enjoying the Legio X custards. Yeah, you know, yeah. Are oh, you actually vaping Britannia like solidly, Sean? That's epic. Wow. There you go. There you go. See, that's the magic of Legio X. <laughs> not going to lie, folks. I'm not going to take full credit. But because as a team, we found a good in the Legio X, didn't we? Almost out of it. Wow, that's... Wow, fair play. But moving on with um, cool stuff. Thanks for the, popping the links in, Ben. Uh, this is just something random I saw on Instagram. Which it, it should have been in the news, really. Because super good say PayPal is back. They happy to announce that PayPal is now available in the print buckets for now at least. So super good have now got access to PayPal. How they've done that, I don't know. Is it some loophole or has PayPal been reactivated? Keep an eye on this because I wonder whether PayPal have changed their rulings with maybe PayPal um Maybe PayPal was available in other countries for vape stuff and now they're getting banned everywhere and they're kind of maybe losing money. Who knows? Maybe Supergood have had, I don't know, whatever. But interesting to see that Supergood now accept PayPal payments again. I say if you've got a website, see if you can get PayPal payments back. Anyone know anything about this? Uh, oh, it's live now. Did I... Did I Lead your ex or Lizzie, please. Can you just confirm I was allowed to do it? This I forgot this wrong. Was I supposed to leave it? Was I supposed to leave it until another week? I'm sure Chris just said, "Oh, if you need stuff to talk about, then you can." <laughs> if it's been released now, I would have made a big. I'm allowed. Okay, yeah, it's been released now. Go and buy it. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Lizzie. PayPal has a sister company based in the UK. PayPal is now UK based. PayPal is now UK based for UK customers due to American rules. I always use PayPal when I buy from Vape Club. Well, you are uh, okay. I, I, well, I'm I'm confused, but I had I thought pretty much all vape shops were shut down with PayPal, but clearly, it's a thing again. Chris is quiet whilst he amends the website rapidly. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant! Yeah, Venus custard. Stop trying to troll me, Andy. All right, next up, who remembers this guy? Todd reviews. Everyone knows Todd. Todd, if if you on his instagram with how many thousand followers he has but he doesn't follow a single soul i'm sorry call me an asshole 
But that is just... What's the word for that? There's a word for that. Whatever it is, I don't like it. I don't want to follow anyone else, but you have to follow me. That really bothers me. But I will promote this poor chap because he has got the Hussar RTA version 2 on release, which is the original Hussar was a long time ago, and they've been working for years. Good word, Faxi. They've been working for years on this new version. Um, sounds like... <laughs> sounds like... Uh, they've really put some work into this because some very high quality materials. This is the only picture I've seen of it on Todd's uh, on Todd's uh, Instagram where he follows no one. But there you go. I, it looks pretty swish. You can go and read. He puts lots of information. It goes down further than this. Lots of information about the new Hussar 2.0. Yeah. I didn't know Todd could take such a nice photograph. That mean he. That just means he has two, and you're not in the cool club. <laughs> <laughs> so do you know what ben you've probably now there he's got a he's got a promotional one which is that one and then he's got an actual one where he's friends with and he's like Pfft. probably right <laughs> oh there's no way, way he'd invite me no one invites me to be their friend or asks me to be their friend i have to go and bug them todd thinks he's the godfather no look end of the day it's nice to see a rebuildable come out and if you know if todd's been hard at work then cool beans Fine by me. Right, new thing from Lost Vape. They, they're now selling orange lights with a floating pod system in the middle of it. They call it the floaty pod. Now, this is, I'm guessing, a new version of the Orion from LVE, Lost Vape. Um, yeah, not much to say about it. That's all I've got so far. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. It looks like every other Orion. In fact, it looks like the older Orions. I might get... What? Aaron, you want me to inveigle Todd after what I've just said about him? The new Therion. Oh, damn it. Ben, I forgot to get pictures of that. But I did get, more excitingly, just for Andy, the new Dovpo, the Ace Pro. <laughs> get ready for the Ace Pro. Da, 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 da. <laughs> 25 watts. Little pod system from Dovpo. No, 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 no. I've got more fun stuff just for you, Ben. I saw this on Element Vape. The new Lost Vape Quest. Centaurus P200 box mod PWM so it clearly is similar in style to the M200 but this one's it looks clear USB type C and it's a PWM or uh, um, what do you call it variable voltage it's just an MVV2 in, in a shit shell. It looks like a Pulse V3. Yeah, I mean, I'm guessing it's going to be basically like a, hopefully a budget version of the M200. With that kind of style, hand feel will be a bit different being plasticky. I haven't actually seen anything, potentially me a thanks, Shrek. I, I should know that, shouldn't I? I haven't seen anything directly from Lost Vape, but according to Element Vape, it's coming soon. The Therion, yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot to... I forgot to. I forgot about that one. Yeah, the theory on new DNA 250C coming out soon. There you go. Uh, if you haven't already seen Mike Veeps, Blaze AIO, AIO. Any information on this? Let me guess. Single weight in 650, 60 watts, 80 watts, USB Type C, takes boros. Yeah, nice colours. Looks pretty, pretty cool. Axe stack PWM mod. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, Mark. <laughs> oh. um, yeah, go and check out this if you're interested. The Blaze AIO. Has um, Boro, the whole craze of Boros, died down yet? I, I'm I'm so out of touch. I can't tell if if Boros are dying again or whether they're still a thing. That Blaze AIO looks like a very cool looking mainstream AIO in my opinion. It just looks techy. It looks like a techy Boro. But I might be wrong. Has anyone got one? No, I don't. Anyone, any opinions on this? To get these colours shown there, you have to buy two more. Oh, he's... N oh. Well, that's just false advertising, Mike. Right, your Atty Stack deal was out the window. <laughs> um, I love... Bro, I want 2,700. Oh, oh so it's, it's 18,650. Does anyone know anything? Because I haven't looked. Stubby with a mega button. I use nothing but Boros now. Just easy and to use and convenient and pretty cheap. Oh, so they... Oh, okay, guys. Thank you. So they come in one colour. 
Not like he's showing them there. That is false advertising, Mike. And we'll call you out on your BS. Not acceptable. They look really cool as well with the red and black. I know Ben would be all over that. It's a good vote for my mates. I'm sure it is. Thunderhead Creations, Boros, Mike Vapes. Yeah, good. Okay. That's that. <laughs> oh, This next bumper, there's only one person in the world who's seen this one. <laughs> and that one person is Chris from from Legio X. The next bumper, the next category is by far my favourite. But before we do that, oh, by the way, it was going to be a race. We'll get to the race in a little while. Um, before we do that, little out stack announcements. Oh dear, hang on, hang on. So you've seen, you've seen, um, you've seen the, the, the potential bo uh, bogan ones that will be coming out hopefully next week or so. So I'll keep you up to date on that. I am also going to be releasing uh, new colour styles. So rather than just having, I feel, I feel like I'm copying someone doing this. Rather than just having the standard colours, just plain colours, we're going to be doing dual colour. Which at the minute, these are the prototypes and these are the two that are going to be in the races. Which are like this. You might have seen these designs with black tops from somewhere else. <laughs> but you see, I've done some really cool things with the rods on these. So these are the winning prizes for the, the races this week. So we've got just a white and black. And we've got a green and black. So you see there, you've got the 25s, 28s and 30 millimeters. They're the two prize winnings this week, which are, are back, box up, bag up and send to the winners. But these are the new color styles. Basically on the website, how it will work will be, you'll choose your tray color. And then you'll choose your top color. So basically mean you can have, I don't know, you could have yellow and then you could have a blue top on them or whatever. So yeah, there'll be a lot more variety when it comes to color options, which I'm really looking forward to. One thing you might have to say on camera, uh, th these are trial versions by the way, so don't be sending me complaints when you get them and whatever, but no, I've tried on, I can't even tell myself. Yeah, I've tried on the green one to do like a smooth top and on, on that one, it's just like a normal uh, 3D printed top. The smooth top looks really good on camera, but to be honest, to the eye, it doesn't look much better. So I think I'm going to stick with how it is because it's not really, although it looks cool on camera then, that's the first time it's looked cool, but yeah. So um, you'll be able to mix and match. You'll be able to have a lot more color options. If you like red and black together, or you want red and white or pink and orange or whatever, all those kind of colors, the top, Color will change, which is which is um, exciting. Yeah, the rods. That's just that's just me being fun, all right? With the the the, the black and white rods, I don't think that green and purple that would work really well. <coughs> ben, you'll get there. Uh, incoming lawsuit. <laughs> yeah. I done these weeks ago. I done them weeks ago. <laughs> uh, ben, it's actually really straightforward. Uh, just. Go with the standard settings, give it a try, and then just adjust slightly if you need to. I haven't spent much time tweaking them, to be fair, so they could probably be a bit, be a bit better. Which, by the way, folks, if you want a different type of Atty Stack, speak to Ben M. He's got a 3D printer now, and he's going to be making a new Atty Stack very, very soon. <laughs> Call it the Benny Stack. The Stacky Ben. But he'll only have trays for top sides and Dovpo devices. <laughs> Blue and white, that would work. Ben, I'll send you some files. <laughs> oh, and this was a this was a uh, the original. This is the first prototype of the. And you see how it's bent and curvy it's gone, and the bottom's all gone all warped and funny. This is the. You guys don't realise how many mess ups happen when you do three D printing. And things just go wrong, and then you have crappy bits of plastic here that you can't use. Well, I could kind of use it. I might just chuck that in one of these win and atty stacks, and you can just do what you want with it because it's it's no good to me. <clears throat> After you smooth sand, sand top, put a, a coat of clear coat and it'll make it nice and shiny. Maybe, but that's just a lot of faff. Shrekies ordered the Venus custard. Whoop, whoop. Strawberry custard. Who has custard and strawberries? Do you actually, do you ever eat it? Or like a strawberry tart and custard? Or what? I suppose you have um, like some strawberry jam and custard, don't you? Clog nozzles. Clog nozzles. Right then. Next category. 
This is really fun. This is really fun. By the way, in this category, I don't have much to talk about, but it's just funny. Who's been a cock this? Craig D. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. I've missed all of this. I've missed everything to do with um, vape drama in the last week. But apparently Craig D's been a cock. And is, I don't know, went off on one on his channel? And slated loads of people? What happened? I don't know what happened. <laughs> but I just thought it was funny. I just thought it was funny. I, and to be fair, I'm not surprised. I, I don't know any of the story, so I can't even comment on any of it. But I just... He, he deleted his channel now. Yeah, I don't even know. I, I did hear that, actually. From what I heard, which is the very little, um, he went off on a show, on a, on a, on a stream, and slated people, and then he's deleted his channel. The Pugs and Vic thing, I don't know. Just I just heard he was a bit of a cock. <laughs> which, I will put my two pence in. I'm not surprised, because he's that kind of destructive kind of guy. About five, four or five years ago, he was saying stuff about me when he was pals with TVP. And I and I think I saved comment, comments from him. I'm sure I've got some screenshots, some stuff he said about me. So he's never been any good, so I'm kind of glad he's gone. Yeah. This is a segment I would never appeal. You, you, you sh the picture on that, the picture on this bumper should be you, Andy. Where's the audio gone? bloody thing anyway yeah that's that's that done if any can you nominate people for this segment <laughs> yes why didn't the audio work then it's so annoying let me find it um because i really like this bumper it's probably my favorite is it gonna work no that's so weird i have no idea why that doesn't work Yeah, it's all set up, and as soon as I click it, I keep having this problem with OBS. It's really annoying. I'm not muted. But anyway, that's apparently who's been a cock this week. If anyone has any more information, please let us all know. We all want, we're all ears. I don't quite know if I'm going to be able to f have something in the vape drama category every week. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, Andy is asking for trouble. Shrek is not me. It's pretty simple. I've got a video called Vape Drama and .mp4 and I click the little eyeball thing and it plays the video and the audio should be is linked with it. But for some reason, the audio disappears. I'll try again. No audio. It It's not me. It's flipping OBS. Plus I'm an electrician. I can't rewire that video, can I? <laughs> I'm not muted, Heed. Definitely not muted. Um, yes, we better do a race because you're getting fed up with me, and I can tell. Um, I'm not muted. Right, let's do this race. Which I don't have a bumper for because this week doesn't have a sponsor yet. But I do have this video, so we're going to play this one for fun. Now, where did I put my bottle of a mouth? Maybe I'll put it in the seat. Over there? No, um, I think it's this way. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go this way and we'll have a little look. Oh, no, my Britannia custard's over, no, um, I think it's over this way. No, no, it's over there. Yeah, it's over there. Now, where did I put my bottle of a mouth in? Maybe I'll put it in No, not in penguins. Simple vape. If you want to be in the races, you have to be, you have to post on the flat cave group on Facebook. I'll send you a link on Discord and then you can keep up to date with that. That's the only way you can get in the race. We're not in penguins. We're doing greyhounds. Let's go to the greyhound. Do, 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 do. Here we go. So I think there was something like 37 storytellers. And 37 wonderful storytellers have a chance of winning an A-stack. Two A-stacks. We're going to do two races. Two wonderful races. So yes. Good luck everyone. Uh, I've also included... Um, I've also included in the race the, a person called Flat Cap Chooses, which means I choose who wins. <laughs> so yes, this basically, guys, um, the first winner will get to choose whether they want the white and black or the green and black stack. Okay, 
and I'll probably bung in one of these little tool tray jobbies, not that one, uh, of the right colour, by the way, one of these little tool things, which for me is working really well. Ben M needs to learn how to get these sitting straight, but for me, they're working pretty good. Um, oh, thank you, Ben. <laughs> what do you want, Ben? <laughs> um, so yes, the, the first winner gets to choose white or green, and then the second winner, obviously, will have to take the one that wasn't taken by the first winner. This is going to be fun. I'd like to stay one for it. Don't worry, Metal Vape. You might win one right now. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, good luck, everyone. Three, two, one. Um, wait, 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 wait. Three, two, one. F three, two, one. No. You know, music is just not working for me today at all. No. What is... There's a song here. Oh, that's why. Good luck, everyone. I'm going to get some more music, don't worry. Hey, zombie's looking good. Been a catching up. Great grounds up there. Josh, Josh, you, Josh, you need a front mate. Josh is in first place. Trick, Jackie. Who's gonna get there? Hey, Thomas, you need there as well. You need the front. Getting down to the last 10 seconds. We've got Rajan Thomas and Josh near the front. One, two, three there. We've got six, five, four. Stuart Valentine, three, two, <laughs> one. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that is not a fix. I swear on my life that is not a fix. Thomas Baggett. How funny is that? If anyone... Rewound the last two minutes, two minutes ago, when I said, never know, Thomas, you might just win. And he won. How, how can I prove that was not a fix? <laughs> I promise you. I swear. I swear on my life that is not a fix. That was a very close race. Well done, Thomas. Thomas, you haven't passed out in joy <laughs> about getting your atty stack. <laughs> the, oh, the broken one or the green one? No, the green one or the white one? Which one would you like? That was just dumb luck. <laughs> uh, da, 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 the white one. Da, 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 da. Well done, well done, Thomas. I'm glad, mate. I'm that's very pleased. I'm happy if anyone wins one. I'm really pleased. Uh, I will send this out next week. Please just private message me, Thomas, with your details, mate, just so I've got them. Uh, and yeah, well done. Race number two. We won't do two minutes because that was too long. And we will remove Thomas from the next one. Leaderboard. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting there, Shrek. Do you know if you've been rods? I've got handfuls, handfuls of rods I've printed out the last few days. It's ridiculous. They all roll around. It's just crazy. Anyway, um, race. Yeah, where, where, what are we doing? Wow, lead your way to second place. Andy Wilkinson, third. Jack H, fourth. Jane, Jackie, Stuart. Stuart, you win because I forgot to put Cicero in the race. No, C Cicero didn't leave a comment so he didn't go in the race no he didn't comment Stuart so I didn't put him in so it's an automatic win for you which means it's two wins this week 
for you, Stuart. Without even doing the second race, you've already won. <laughs> I should... Excuse me, I feel bad. I should have just... um. I should have just put him in just for race, for historical purposes. Which, if I remember from now on, I'll do that. Just for historical purposes, I always put you two in the race. The same with Shrek and Faxi. Uh, Jack, Jane, Jack, Jackie, Stuart, Phil, Sean, Sandy, Zombie. Zombie, much better than the other week, mate. You're up to 11th. Paul, Billy Lee, Rajan, Shrek, Mark, Ollie, Andy, Will, Fred, Lizio, Faxi, Sam, Josh, Greg, Joe, Craig, Harry, Martin, Brian, Craig, Ben, Crispin, Mark, Ian, Mark. There's a lot of Marks. Have I put Mark Hawes in twice? Or have I put Mark H? Mark H? Mark Hawes. Now we're good. Okay. Uh, next race. Oh, we're going to tweak that to one minute. This is for the green eighty stack. Green and black. Yep. Cicero can't win. Heavy hitters in the top five. Ooh. Good luck, everyone, for the green stack. Good. Let's go. Oh, okay. Simple vape. Oh, you twisted my arm. Okay, I I spelled that wrong. Is it Tomer or Tom? It's Tomer, isn't it? T O M E R. There you go. Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith. There you go. I'm feeling I'm feeling generous. <laughs> that's it. That's what I'm doing. It's going. Too late. Too late. Too late. Too late. Okay, there we go. Good luck, everyone. Let's go. Oh no! I'm clicking buttons. Stop clicking things. Sorry, Nicky. It's too late. Music's not working. Now it is. We've only got a minute this time. Ollie Maguire's taking a strong lead. Andy Cove is up there again. Kevin Smith, I've just put in the race, is looking good as well. Ian Bamford is there. Pat Sam Pollock's looking pretty good. Jackie Derrick is catching up from the back. She's going to be there very, very soon near the front. Shrek and Jane, you two have gone. Thomas, oh, I've left Thomas. I left Thomas in the race, but Thomas, if you win again, no, it's not fair. My buffering. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> and I muted myself. No, Thomas. No. <laughs> I'm doing that race again. We're doing that completely again. I'm going to remove... There's a thingy I should have clicked last time. Remove winner from the race. I'm going to remove him from the race. <laughs> uh, I'm not piffing it. No, we're just going to do it all again without Thomas in the race. He's affected everything. I'm not piffing it because it affects who could have been second. No. <laughs> that was stupid how did you win twice in a row Thomas give it to fifth place well Greg Beggy just so you know oh Tommy you were close Zombie you were third Jackie you look good as well you were, you were, oh. no I'm, I'm sorry I'm wiping Thomas out of the race we're doing it all again <laughs> look if you've been watching this stream for a long time you know this is how things go every week alright if you're still here then you must be used to it Oh, okay, Nikki. This is it. This is the last one. Oh, there you go, Nikki. You're in. You lucky jammy little monkey. There you go. Uh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Cicero, I love you, mate. There you go. Let's let's do this race. <laughs> oh, let's go. Last time. Oh, wait, wait, no. No, Thomas Baggett's still in the race. Well, let's hope he doesn't win again. <laughs> what a disaster. It's all good, Nicky. Yes. Yes, I did, Shrek. Royally. Majorly screwed the whole stream up. Never mind. First week back, I'm a bit rusty. It's 
six, five, four, three, two, one. There you go, Sam. Sam Pollock wins. Dee, 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 dee. Well done, Sam. Sam, I don't know if you're in chat. Is Sam in chat? Is Sam in chat? Oh yeah, yeah I think Sam is in chat. Yeah, I think Sam, Sam, yeah. I think so. Well, congrats, Sam. Well done. Sam, please send me a private message. I'll get that sent out next week. Hopefully early next week. Yes, please, Sam. Please uh, private message me with your details, your dress, and I'll get that posted out next week. It's the green one, Sam. So the green and the white are the same effect. You get a 30 millimeter tray, a 20... I can't even remember what I did. 28 millimeter tray and a 25. Just like that, that's what you'll get, okay? Just green and black top. Leaderboard, yeah, I'll do it. There you go. Well done, everyone. And a massive thank you to the sponsors of this week's show. <laughs> I hate promotional stuff. It just makes me cringe. It's just awkward. Brian, second. Ian, third. Jackie, fourth. Crispin, fifth. Martin, sixth. Josh, seventh. Faxi, eighth. Jane, ninth. Craig, tenth. Joe, eleventh. Harry, twelfth. Mark, can't keep doing that. Mark H, Jack H, Nicky Maynard, Mark Smith, Will, Phil, Lizzie OX, Fred, Toma, Rajan, Andy, Ollie, Shrek, Paul, Lee X, Mark, Greg, Billy Lee, Zombie, Sean, Stuart, Sandy, Kevin, Ben, Andy, Craig, Cicero. Stuart, you still won, even though we added him to the race. So, commiserations to all the losers, but congratulations to Sam and to Thomas. Thank you very much. If you wouldn't mind, folks, it would really help me out if when you get your act stacks, you take a nice little picture, put it on the Flat Cave group, and tell all your friends. <laughs> oh, dear. That was good. I'm sorry about the cock-ups like this one, for example. Just stupid. We're not doing that. We've done that. Just stupid cock-ups. Um, which, by the way, does that work now? No, it still doesn't work. That's really weird. It keeps doing that. It's weird. Once you play it once, the second time it gets rid of the audio. Strange. Maybe Streamlabs OBS is rusty. Right, let's quickly go back to root beer. which Because I haven't vaped it as much as I thought I might. Every time on that inhale, I just get the slightest tiggle just on the throat. Thank you, Metal Vape. That's great. Thank you, buddy. Just the slightest tickle on, on the throat. I really like the flavour. It does remind me of like Ben Lynn cough medicine. But I like cough, that cough medicine. It's really nice. It does have an aniseedy kick. does seem to have like a cinnamony kick that Shreki was talking, around, talking about. I like the sweetness from this. It is sweet, but night nursey. It's those kind of cough medicine-y tastes, but it's not too bitter or sharp. It's like the right amount of sharpness. I would have never likened this to root beer because I've never tried root beer. Symbol Vape, yes, I'm happy to feature that one week and we'll test it out on the stream. Sounds great. Um, would I recommend this one? Because of the coffee, the throaty thing, it's putting me off. It's putting me off recommending it. But I'll definitely say it's unusual. And this, the, the whole sweet, the way the sweetness comes to it, I really like that. So if I could get rid of that throat thing, or perhaps after not talking solidly for two hours, I might be fine tomorrow. I do like it, but yeah. It's, in, <coughs> it's even during the <coughs> during the inhale, it's just just tiggling. Oh, that's that's a shame. That is a shame. That that's getting me for some reason. Mm. I know you do, Shrek. You're an absolute star. I still I will probably bash out a little cheeky review of pink pink lemonade. Uh, thank you for sending me those, Shrek. I appreciate that, mate. That one, I did do a chicken knuckle test on that, and it tastes really, really nice. Kevin, did you have the same problem then? Did you have the same problem where it just catches you? It's weird, isn't it? I've had cinnamon before. Um, um, oh, what's the Legio X one? Bamalia. That's got, has that got cinnamon in it? I can't remember. I've had cinnamon before, and they've been fine. You love it. <laughs> Let's go back to foam shrimps, I think. I've got selective reading. What have I missed? What have you said, Faxi? What have I missed? <clears throat> um, I like raspberry. 
What? Thanks, you worry me now. I missed what you said. Yes, Thomas. Oh, you, I'm, I hate when that happens. I missed like, I catch like half a sentence. Anyway, we're going to call it a night. And we're a little bit under the two hour thing, but I think we've done pretty well. Um, as I say, as the weeks go on, I want to have a couple more categories. Some things will come in and out each one. They might be in one week, but not the next. Depends how things are. Depends on news and all that kind of stuff. Um, guests. I want to work on guests. Actual real people on the stream. But I don't want to do guests like most people do guests. I don't want to have a guest on here and just sit here for two hours talking to them about what they do. They, And it's like how I used to do it, where they've got to, they've got to take an active role in the show so it's still about you guys because i that's and i've said this a million 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 times but i hate when a show becomes all about the guest and you guys that make the show get ignored i hate it guest build off yes i love your ideas uh i'm not sure because the way it comes out of nowhere sometimes i only have something oh okay so you get you do have the same kind of problem then oh sam pollock said piff to last Oh, I missed that. Okay, hold the hold the goodbyes. You don't want it, Sam. Oh, Sam, you've got enough. You want to piff it to Cicero. You're going to piff it all the way to America. Okay, we'll do it. Could have chosen someone in the UK, but... <laughs> Cicero, I will do that for Cicero. I will post it to Cicero. Maybe topless model guests. Yeah, I can go topless. <laughs> well, I'm going to go. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate you hanging on for even longer this this, this stream. Uh, appreciate your patience. Appreciate you joining me, even though it's been a couple of weeks. Um, thank you for the continued support. Genuinely means a lot. Uh, I hope that this flat, the, the Flat Cat Fridays will continue to evolve and grow. I do want to do more. I am trying to do more. Now things are a little bit back, more back to normal. I have more things in the pipeline, more things I want to get done. Guests are one thing. Guest build-off is a great idea, Josh. Guest ankles is not a good idea. Have a great weekend, everyone. Really hope you all have a nice weekend. We'll see you all next week where um, I might even have other categories and more fun things. Yeah, be brilliant. Thanks so much, everyone. See you all soon. Bye-bye. Oh, and just for Jackie, you know what's coming up, don't you? Just for Jackie. And also, do you like this now? I've changed it. The home of Flat Cat Fridays and product reviews. Oh, and three times second place Easy Click Award winner. <laughs> okay, this one's just for Jackie. Oh, wait, where's... The... Here we go. There we go.